Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to another Small Business Saturday where we're gonna be giving three marketing tips to help you through shoulder season. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Bernie is out on vacation today. Bernie, we miss you. See you next week. We miss you. Have fun. So I have a very special guest with me, Britt, who is our director of all of our in-house marketing. So welcome, Britt. Thank you for Thanks, sitting Jill. in. Um, now, we have a special Small Business Saturday for all of our heating and cooling clients because everyone's going to start opening up their windows over mm -hmm. the next 30, 60 days, probably closer to 60 so we want to give three marketing tips to get ready for shoulder season um, because those are the two times of the year that yep. are usually the more slower parts yep. versus the hotness and the cold. Yep. And Jill, what happens during shoulder season? What is shoulder season? Right. I'm sure some people might be asking what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, for anyone who doesn't know what shoulder season is, it's basically that time period between the seasons and it's usually slower, right? And I know a lot of businesses, they'll come to me, they definitely come to you and mm -hmm. say, I'm a little bit nervous, like I don't know what to do, should I shut off my marketing? Which, yes. first of all, this is not even the topic, but don't ever shut off your marketing. No. Uh, but to kind of jump into the tips, because you wanna, even though you're, you're running and gunning right now, right? But one of the things that happens in the summer is you don't really think about the coming months, right? I feel like we're gonna blink and it's gonna be Thanksgiving, which yep. is, terrifying but you want to start planning now for shoulder season even a little bit for winter too mm -hmm. right yeah you want to make sure that you're ready to go for those slower seasons mm -hmm. um even though heating can be a fairly busy time but usually it is slower than the summer right mm -hmm. historically for most businesses mm -hmm. um at least here on the east coast mm -hmm. um but let's jump into three tips right yep. so first tip is make sure that your local service ads have everything uploaded all of your information is correct so that they can continue to work even as people are turning off their ac and they're not turning on their heat yet um, and actually just to jump off of what you said shoulder season is also an important time to turn up your marketing yes don't turn it down yes. don't turn it off that's where we really need to increase things for those who are searching for AC repair or heat repair, um, and they're just, they don't have somebody in mind. Yeah, no, absolutely. And LSAs are super important because one, you don't pay for them to keep them on, right? Mm -hmm. Which is great. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're spending money to keep anything live. You yeah. want to just keep them active, make sure they're up to date, make sure your insurance is up to date. Um, and for anyone who doesn't even have their LSAs live, this is a really good time to get started because we know those background checks take time, right, mm -hmm. Jill? The background checks, um, you know, at least a couple weeks to a couple months, right? I think it fluctuates a lot, yep. um, especially uh, since COVID. But if you don't have anything live, now's the perfect time to build it out, put all your information in, get that background check taken care of. So that way, you know, in a couple weeks to a month from now, maybe a couple months, you are ready to go come September, come October, where, you know, things are starting to slow down and that way you can still get those leads. Yep, great tips. Um, second one is all about email marketing. Talk to us about that, Britt. Ooh, email marketing, this is my favorite one. So I have a lot of clients that actually don't do email marketing mm -hmm. that are crazy. in the home services business, which it's is crazy. wild to me because that is one of, first of all, you're not paying for running ads, right? And it's to your own email list of people, customers that you already have in your database and they're not using it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> crazy, right? Yeah, use your own data. Use your data. Um, so one of the things I always like to say is prepare those campaigns to focus on, you know, tune-ups are huge during shoulder season, mm -hmm. especially when you're between, you know, when you're getting into probably like September, end of August, when people are going to start thinking about, okay, well, AC is running good, right? It's still hot out, but maybe we want to start thinking about the heater. Mm -hmm. Make sure the heater's working when you turn it on. Mm -hmm. um, but also those maintenance agreements, those maintenance contracts, those are huge too. Uh, so anything that you can do in email marketing to push maintenance agreements, because that that's the business, that's the monthly revenue that will keep you going through the shoulder season mm -hmm. and through those months where it's slower. Mm -hmm. Anything that you can do with coupons also, huge. People love coupons, right? You put 10% off, you put a percentage off, it's totally up to you. There's a million different things you can do, but anything that you can give someone some sort of discount or some sort of value add to um, that service, they're more likely to call you and respond to that email. Mm -hmm. I had a client that actually during shoulder season, this is a true story about, I guess, a, a year or two ago, but 
Um, I had a client that actually their main driving force of their revenue during shoulder season was their email marketing wow. because they were putting those maintenance agreements out there. They were selling those. They were getting things through coupons. Mm -hmm. um, they had much more activity on that email marketing because they were using people that already knew who they were, mm -hmm. that used their services before. Mm -hmm. It's a no-brainer. Yep. Perfect. Now, the last but not least one is Facebook retargeting. Facebook can flex on anyone <laughs> with the retargeting. Um, let's talk a little bit about that and the power through uploading lists and being able to remarket and re-engage with people after they've come to your website. So similar to email marketing, I love Facebook retargeting because I feel like it's there's so much untapped potential with it and a lot of people don't use it for, for that purpose. But anyone that hits your website, if you have the Facebook pixel or meta pixel now it's called, mm -hmm. on your website, that person automatically gets put into like this bucket which turns into an audience for you to remarket to. So have those ads running. You don't even have to have a huge budget. You can have a couple hundred dollars a month thousand dollars a month uh, maybe not even that and just have these ads run all the time you can swap out your creative based off of you know what what it is that you're running any coupon specials etc but it's a yes it's unlimited but it's a great opportunity to have your business top of mind because maybe they don't need you need you today right but yeah. they're gonna need you they will you know a month from now two months from now yes. um, or they're gonna turn on their heater and be like ooh that's not working. Yes. It's not turning on at all. Mm -hmm. So always a good thing to have those running so they're working for you in the background. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you everyone for listening. Awesome tips. If you need help with your local service ads, if you need help with your email marketing, if you need help with remarketing and reengaging with people on Facebook, call us up. We are the company to help you to put together a custom plan to help you to reach your goals. Um, until then, we'll see you guys next week. Time to get ready for shoulder season.